My name is Andrew Yates, and I'm a PhD student at Georgetown. I'm going to talk about detecting adverse drug reactions in social media. Um, the idea is we want to look at places like Twitter, forums, and blogs, and we want to find the ADRs people talk about. And when we find an ADR we're interested in, if it's an ADR on the drug label, meaning it's expected, or if it's an unexpected ADR. A uh, few people have looked at this in social media, and I've seen fewer papers yet on all the language difficulties. Um, for example, parsing techniques are needed to deal with the unusual structure you find, and the vocabulary is different than medical vocabulary, so you need a specialized the source. So we've investigated the source construction techniques. So in the middle of this slide, you'll see my legs are achy and restless at big time. Um, that's talking about the restless leg ADR, but nowhere does that term actually appear. So you need some sort of parsing technique to know which terms can be put together to find that ADR, which is being expressed. Uh, the source construction, the general idea is given a, a term to find the term synonyms. Uh, the top line is a, one of our methods. The bottom lines are previously proposed methods. Higher is better. You can see we do well finding the synonyms of a term, which can be used to build up a domain-specific thesaurus. Once you have that thesaurus, you combine it with social media and one of four possible ADR detection methods that I'll talk about. Um, and those will tell you which ADRs have been expressed. Uh, one of those methods is a baseline method um, from Lehman, another person at Arizona State. Um, the basic idea there is he ignores the order of a group of words and tries to figure out which ADRs can be formed from those words. Uh, depending on the size of the words, you get different, the size of the group, you get a different accuracy. Uh, larger will find words that shouldn't be grouped together. Um, so the first Georgetown method is very simple, it's exact matching in patterns. Basically, we detect an ADR if we find it in our ADR thesaurus, or if it matches a pattern associated with the phrase in our thesaurus. Uh, but what I mean by a pattern is something like area, our X and Y. Um, so if you have legs are achy and restless, you can put, combine that with the pattern to find something like achy legs and restless legs. Uh, these patterns can be mined using a standard pattern mining technique um, from a medical corpus, and then a human looks at the patterns and throws away ones that aren't any good. So uh, the second Georgetown method is a topic model. Basically, it looks at how you would talk about an ADR. It assumes that you have an ADR to talk about, and then you choose words. Um, it looks in reverse and says, if we see those words, which ADR was likely to have generated the words? Finally, uh, the more interesting method, the conditional random field from Georgetown. Uh, we try to label terms as either part of an ADR phrase or not part of an ADR phrase. At the very end, you'll see not ADR by at, um, indicating it's nothing to do with an ADR. At the bottom, you see terms. You also see uh, features associated with the term. So legs is a noun. It's the subject of the phrase. Um, it appears somewhere in the, the source. So by using these features and the relationship between words, we can determine where the mention of an ADR stops and starts. So we, have, we look at cancer support th forms that are annotated by humans um, to indicate which ADRs are actually expressed. We can use these to see how well all our methods perform and get an idea of what works well. Um, so when we run this on the forum, the CRF performs best. Um, exact matching and patterns isn't too far behind. Sliding window isn't too far behind that. The topic model performs very poorly. Um, you can see the relative differences in the bar graphs. The problem with this is that we need annotations. It's you know, very time consuming to annotate a bunch of forum posts. Um, and we do have these drug labels, which should list most of the ADRs that can be found for the drug. So maybe there's some way to take advantage of those drug labels when we see how well our methods do. So what we do is we assume a method is correct if an ADR that it finds in a forum post or Twitter or tweet or whatever is also on the drug label. We can use this to determine how well we're doing. Of course, there's a lot of caveats. We're not distinguishing between first and third person mentions as we are with uh, annotations and so on. But if we use this to evaluate a few years of Twitter data, um, we find that Georgetown CRF still performs the best. So it's not surprising, at least. Um, exact matching and patterns is very similar to the sliding window as before. The topic model performs poorly. Um, in order to know how well this evaluation actually measures what's going on, we can run it on the forums where we have annotations. Here we find the topic model performs better than it used to, which is a little suspicious. But we do find the CRF performs the best as before, and the trends are very similar. Um, sliding window is close to exact matching and patterns as it was before. There's, of course, a performance increase everywhere, which is expected because we're not dealing with things like first versus third person and negation and so on. But it's at least good that the trend seems similar for most of the methods. So here you have the trends for the sliding window, um, which I chose because it has that easy group of words parameter size. You see at very small window sizes that the results are different. But after that, there's basically a constant performance increase, and it behaves the same um, using both the known ADR and the other evaluation. 
So in conclusion, the takeaway here is the CRF performs well across everything. Um, tweets are short, which changes the differences. Uh, things perform better on tweets. But of course, we don't have human annotations for tweets, so we don't know exactly how well everything is doing on that data set. Thank you.